Good evening and thank you for joining us. A 15 year old girl is recovering in a Winnipeg hospital after a fatal crash Wednesday night. RCMP say the car she was in struck a semi truck near Gilbert Plains, killing the four other adolescents on board. And now the sole survivor's mother is thanking the first responders who pulled her daughter from the wreckage. CTV's Miss Depatie reports. Tanya Yerkew says her 15 year old daughter Hannah is a social butterfly with a smile that lights up the room. Hannah is in stable condition at Health Science Centre Children's Hospital right now, only able to say a few words intermittently. Yerkew says she went to bed at her home in Dauphin Wednesday night after Hannah went out for a drive with friends. She says she was woken by a friend knocking at her door around 11. I opened the door and he basically just swung the door open and yelled for my husband and said Hannah's Hannah's trapped under a semi. Your Q immediately left to go to the collision on Provincial Road 274 near Gilbert Plains, where RCMP say the car Hannah was a passenger in hit a trailer of a semi heading east on Highway 5. Well, on the way to the crash, Your Q says she was able to reach Hannah on the phone. And she answered the phone. And all she said was, Mommy, I need you. Please come and get me. Once at the scene, Your Q was stuck watching first responders try and pull her daughter out from under the semi truck for an hour and a half. It seemed like a nightmare. It was like a like a like a scene from a movie. It was everything possible that you can never imagine that you would ever have to come across. Your Q says Hannah is on heavy pain medication and is mostly sleeping, only waking up to say a few words or grab a quick drink. The other four people in the car, 17-year-old Riley Roback, 17-year-old Leroy Neiman, 18-year-old Alexander Watt, and 18-year-old Christopher Swintak, who is driving, are all dead. I grew up in Gilbert. My husband grew up in Gilbert. We both went to school in Gilbert. We know what it's like to come from a small town. We, we know. My heart is going out back home. Your Q says her thoughts are with the other families and is thankful for the first responders who helped her daughter. I think it's um, important to mention that the firefighters, the paramedics, Everybody there that night were truly amazing. Our hearts go out with them as well. It wouldn't have been easy. Your Q says she's also thankful for all the support the family's receiving. She added she hasn't had a chance to tell Hannah about what happened or about the other people in the car. Mason DePetty, CTV News, Winnipeg. RCMP say it's continuing to investigate the crash and the driver of the semi-truck was not injured and they're not contemplating charges against him.